You have to get rid of fractional reserve banking, compound interest, and fiat currency. That is the heart of the pyramid scheme. The printing of money that requires infinite growth to sustain, and growth requires the consumption of resources and the wasting of resources. Consumerism, that bullshit. Uh, and so that's the beast you have to unplug. And if you haven't got the cojones to go over, or, you know, a, a, after that, any other demand you make is, is nothing more than masturbation. You police officers are the 99% yeah. and we are not leaving! Yeah. This system has to be torn down before a new world can be built, period. As long as the infinite growth monetary paradigm is in operation and we, and we see what it does, uh, it, it will do everything it can to kill us in order to keep the profits flowing. And, and so that's got to be brought down. And, and uh, uh, how that happens, I don't know, but the change of consciousness may make that possible. That's why I'm a lot more optimistic lately, because I'm seeing a positive change of consciousness rushing to meet this train that's coming down the tunnel at us, called Collapse. Um, but I don't think we can create a nirvana. There's going to be a lot of wailing and gnashing of teeth. There's going to be a zombie apocalypse. There's going to be a lot of people who just cannot get it, and will not get it, and will not adjust. But as I was laying out in the camp here, I'm thinking, well, you know, what better way to train and to prepare for the world that we're living in than by starting to live in camps now and to learning how to function in communities and tent cities in camps uh, because there is such resilience that comes with that community and the resilience is extremely important. Um, you know, I don't think that you could have a problem here that somebody wouldn't be able to help somebody else with tonight. There's such an array of skills here. Uh, and we have just what we need. We have just what we need. <laughs> I just, I dig it, man. I just dig it. What can I tell you? But of all these friends and lovers, there is no one compares with you. And these memories have their meaning when I think. Something new. At some point in time, everything that you have will come from within five, ten miles from where you live. And that's the way you have to start structuring your thinking. And as you do that, you start structuring the way you live and the way you deal with people around you. There's all these people around the world who have sensed this or known this in one way or another for decades. And, and there's enormous amounts of resources, people wanting to share information, how you do everything from make applesauce to raise chicken, you know, to, uh, to, to uh, making homemade uh, uh, homeopathic medical remedies out of herbs, which is the way America kept healthy until the 1890s and the corporations took over medicine. Uh, and that's a much healthier way to live anyway. Uh, so it's learning those skills uh, that's, that's really, really important. And then, you know, there are the stages, you know, you really have to get over the fact that all that's going away, but the more it goes away, the, the more I say good riddance. Come home to your wife and your family.